In this section I'm going to show you how you can edit an access list. And by edit I mean changing the criteria that you have used in defining that access list. This is very important in that uh, you may have used that access list to filter some specific traffic. You have applied it to an interface or you have used that access list in another place. I don't care. Right now I have applied it to one interface. And if I go and remove that access list, the filter is going to be removed and the traffic that is unwanted is going to, you know, disturb my network. I don't want this happen. What I want to do is to make sure that that is there and as soon as I make the change, everything is going to be in effect. I'm not going to delete an access list and redefine it. I'm just going to make very simple changes. And sometimes you have an access list that has a lot of entries. You know, when removing an access list, all of those entries are going to be removed. And unless you have a saved version of that or a documentation for that, it is going to be very, very hard to restore uh, your hard work. So make sure that you only edit and make sure before that you are going to save any configuration that is unsaved. And of course, uh, make a backup of what your configuration has been. So let's go to router 4. I'm going to, uh, uh, router 2 of course, I'm going to make some changes to the, to the access list that I had created. Let me clear the screen and I start with show access list and right now you can see that I have two access lists. First one is no longer in use. I can safely remove it but before that I need to make sure that I'm not using this in any place and the second one I'm using the second one. So let me see this one. Uh, what I'm going to do is to show run and I'm going to include access and with this, I make sure that uh, my access lists are there. You can see that IP access group, this is the only access list that is in use. And this one is the definition of the access list. And this one again is the definition of access list. So I can safely remove this because I don't see any reference to this access list in any of my configuration. So I go to configuration mode. And I type no access list one. And this removes an access list. So if I try to show access list once again, you can see that there is only one access list. Okay, let's say that this is not uh, the network that I am going to uh, deny the traffic from. Uh, actually, the network was. 102, 102, 102, 102. That was the network that I wanted to deny the traffic from. So what I need to do is to um, change this. But again, you can see that if I add uh, another line, that's going to have a new sequence number. That's going to go after line 20. And this is not acceptable because line 20 takes priority over that. You know that the access list entry are going to be processed in order. So the first line is going to be processed first, the second line then, and then the other lines. So if I add an entry and it goes under line 20, that's not going to be processed when there is a permit any is here. So I need to make sure that I am editing exactly this line. How can I do that? What is the name of this access list? It is Deny103 Network. And you can see that the this is an, a standard access list. So I start by defining an, a standard access list with the exact same name. IP access list. And you can see that I am using IP access list. And, and this was an, a standard access list. And I'm going to paste the name and hit enter. Right now, you can see that I am under this context, the standard named access list definition. How can I change this? What I need to do is to specify the sequence number first. So I am, I, I am editing sequence number 10. And I type deny, and I'm going to deny 102, 102, 102, 0. And the wildcard mask is going to be 000255. 
and hit enter. Now you can see that it says there is a duplicate sequence number. So what I need to do is first to remove line 10 by typing no 10 and hit enter and now I am adding another line with this sequence number, sequence number number 10 and that is denying 102, 102, 102, 0. So first of all you need to remove that line but that line and not to whole access list and then add your desired line. So let's see what the access list looks like. It is like this. Right now it says I'm denying 102, 102, 102, 0 with this wildcard mask. And the second line is still the second line. There is no problem. Now let's uh, go and check this. If I try to ping 103, 103, 103, 103, now the ping is successful. What if I want to ping 102, 102, 102, 102? Now you see that traffic for this network is being denied. Okay, let's go back to 102, or rather 2, and, and uh, enable the previous um, configuration. So I'm going to type no 10, and I'm going to make this again 103. And everything is the same as before. What about editing a numbered access list? Assuming that I am defining a new access list. So let me define this. I'm going to define access list 10. And uh, it is denying, for example, 100, 100, 100, 0. And permitting anything else. Uh, wait, let me see that. It should be like this because I need to reference the same access list many times. Okay, now you can see that I have two lines. The first line is this denying network 100. The second line is permitting anything else, any other source. So if I show access list 10 and hit enter, this is what it looks like. So assume that the first line is not correct. I'm going to edit it. So how can I do that? And again I go with this definition. IP access list standard and because this is a standard access list you see the number it is between 1 and 99 so this is going to be a standard access list so what is the name the name is 10 and once again which line I'm, I, I am editing I am editing line number 10 so I type no 10 line number 10 is removed now I am defining this one once again And now if I try to show access list 10, you can see that there is a very, very bad problem here. That's because I forgot to add the sequence number in front of this. This is a problem. So you type no 30, and instead of that line, I type 10, deny 101, 101, 101, 0. Now if I try to show access list once again, you can see that everything is correctly defined here. So this is how you edit an access list.